gonna go ahead and tell you a little bit about this movie. Phil the Alien, 2004, okay? First of all, you know, it was a good idea, okay? It's, uh, the front cover looks good. It's got Phil the Alien guy. It's got some crazy aliens all bleh. Some hot chick with titties. You know, a squirrel with a gun. Or a beaver, whatever. Uh, you know, and some crazy guy who looks like he could be on Jackass or the Bam Margera show. But, this is inaccurate as fuck. The only thing accurate is, well, the hot chick's in there. Uh, but the beaver has a gun. These aliens are in there, but there's no, like, there's one of them. And it sucks because he was cool. And I think he would have been funnier than shit in the whole movie. Anyway. Here's what the back says. Okay. Phil the alien. Phil is a gun-toting extraterrestrial party animal stranded on Earth just trying to find his way home. Lost in the wilderness, he encounters hunters, prostitutes, an ex-CIA operative, and a talking beaver, all while dodging military agents and hired assassins. This hilarious Men in Black meets Austin Powers comedy, told through the bloodshot eyes of an alcoholic alien, is brilliantly out of this world. No. 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 First of all, Phil is not a gun-toting extraterrestrial party animal. He's an alien from another planet that accidentally crashes to Earth, and then some punk kid in the middle of the forest who's a hunter kid gets him drunk, and then he becomes an alcoholic, and then the movie is one bad edit job away from being a porn without porn. Yeah. It is following multiple storylines of multiple characters at multiple times throughout multiple blah blah blah. It just keeps going. It's like, it cuts to, to Phil, and he's drunk, talking to the beaver, oh, for like two minutes, then he crashes, then it cuts to him the next day, going to the bar, and talking to people. Well, then it cuts to, you know, Phil on stage with some people, and that's fine. And then it cuts to the kid back at the place, and that's okay. See, these edits are normal. But that's all it does. It just back and forth and 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 back and forth. It's so, it's like, it's like, oh God, Jesus Christ. There's a continuity flow. There's a flow. There's a flow that you gotta kind of go with. And the movie makes it too hard to go with it because it's too chopped up in two different many places. They could have easily flowed things together a hell of a lot smoother than they did. Was the movie funny? Yeah, I guess. They're Canadians, so I don't know what that's about, eh? I don't understand maple fucking bacon, eh? Or hockey, eh? But none of that was in here either, eh? Beavers, I guess. Those are Canadian, right? They got Canada beavers? I don't know what that's about, fucking beavers. Anyway, I mean, it was decently funny. Had a couple of guys in there that we know from the other, mo other movies that you'd, you'd recognize. Overall, it was decent. I got it for a dollar, so I'm not going to complain. Um, if I had to pay ten bucks for it, and eh, probably no. No, I wouldn't be doing that. Only because... Eh, I don't know, the edit job was... I'm not bashing the film. It was good for what it was. But Canadians, man... And I'm not racist against Canadians. I'm not a Canadianist. I'm not a Canadianist. But I mean Justin Bieber. Celine Dion. Feel the alien. Okay, on a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being glazed donuts in the morning, and 10 being I shot myself in the penis with a nail gun. This rate's somewhere around... It's fucking Canada. Hey, look what I made! I'm a Canadianist. I'm a Canadianist!